Team Iceland. Welcome back to this channel. Today I am here with Jens, our favorite Icelander. And you guys have been requesting another video about how to speak Icelandic, so I brought the best. Thank you. Today we are talking about how to pronounce the towns throughout Iceland, so let's get into it. All right, so the first stop is... Kveragerði. 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 Yes, so what's like a fun fact or the translation of this wonderful town? It's a hot spring town, so they have actually a hot spring in the middle of the town. So it's, it's fun to see. Yeah, very good Yeah, and then everything. everything around it is just hot springs everywhere. Just the whole town. Steamy. Steamy town. They have a lot of um, farms for flowers and fruits and stuff. Greenhouses. Greenhouses. Yeah. yeah. So have you been? No have you been in Reykjavík? Not lately. Too many no. people there. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Selfoss. Selfoss. Wow, I like that one. Okay. <laughs> That's basically just the next town. The next town, yes. Yeah. And any like fun facts that you know about this one? And a lot of bands who came from there that played weird music. It was, quite, it was, it was known for that. They were all blonde and stuff like that. It's like a musical town. Yeah, probably, yeah. But it's, it's known for many things. Next one, I'm going to say first, because I'm not sure if this is right. Is it Hetla? Yeah. Hetla. 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 Or you say Hella. Hetla. <laughs> the tourists say Hella. Yeah, it's not, it's not that, it's not hell, it's just Hetla. <laughs> What does Hetla translate to? The one translation would be like a burner or a stove or something like that. It's one way of translating that. Mm -hmm. so, but it's a, it's a town, it's, it's lots of horses there, lots of horse farmers mm -hmm. and everywhere around there. This is, there's a lot of farms in those, in that area of Iceland. Yeah, and right next door we have Kvolsvöllur. Kvolsvöllur. What was uh, the difference in mine and yours? I said correct. Typical. All right, so I know that Vottler means like kind of a, like a, a field. field. Okay. Quals. I don't know how to translate that, but it, it's like a field. Okay. Some of those towns are, and most of those towns in that area are not by sea. Because mm -hmm. the, the sea in that part of Iceland is basically just beaches, mm -hmm. and long beaches. Is those are not fishing towns. No. Okay. I see. Vík. The name of a town in South Iceland that everyone goes to. So I think that usually people just say Vík on this Vík, one. Yeah. Yeah. We have no idea what Vík is. Kirkjubæjar klaustur. Kirkjubæjar klaustur. Church town. Isn't it Covenant? Monastery. Monastery, yeah. Monastery. Okay. Church town monastery. Something something similar to that. I like how everything, it's just so literal. It's like, that was easy. We'll just name it that. Yeah. Okay. And our favorite, yeah. Hofen. Hup. Hup. Still gets me. What, what do you call it? Harbor. Harbor, yeah. Yeah. Hup. Harbor. Yeah, it's just... And it's right on... Yeah, it's right on the harbor. Yeah, there you have a fishing town. They have lots of... Uh, once a year, I think I still have it, they have the uh, lobster festival there. Oh, that yeah. would be wonderful. When is it? It's usually the last weekend of June. Okay. Around that time. Yeah, we're gonna have to go for that. Yeah, it's fun. Like all there. you can eat langoustine. Yeah, and, and, and much more. It's, it's, it's a town festival. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, I like this one. Djupivogur. Djupivogur. Like a bay, deep bay. Something, oh. Yeah, something similar to that. Oh yeah, because it's in like, um, not a fjord, but no. it's like a, an offshoot it's a, it's of the fjord. A, it's a vogur, yeah, it's a vogur. Cool. Yeah. I didn't know. That's a small town. That's a small town. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there, I think I competed there once. Competed in what? Uh, strongman. Oh, really? Strong man. Lifting stones and stuff. Yes. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> Eilstaðir. Eilstaðir is uh, one of the bigger towns on the east part of Iceland. 
Yes. So it's now you're now we're we're to the east of Iceland. Now we're on the east. Yes. Yeah. Now you will have east. lots of fjords, lots of uh, big mountains. What does Eilsstaður mean? Eils, uh, Eil is just that's the name, the man's yeah. name of Eil. Staður is his place, so it's, it literally means Eil's place. Wow. He has a whole town named after him. Yeah, of course. Who doesn't? This guy is important. Yeah. Okay, and right next door, well, which is my favorite town, well, we're tied. We got, I got a favorite, you know. Say this here, there. Say this further. This is where the, the ferry comes in, so it's it's quite known for that. Right. Say this is actually quite a, a nice town. It looks good. Yes, it looks very good for Instagram. Yeah. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And um, this is like one of the filming locations for Trapped or O Firth. O Firth in Icelandic. Yeah, they taped However, it in. It's mis, mis, yeah, it's deceiving, right? Yeah, it's taped in three towns. Uh, that it's show. Tape, yeah, we in, know. Yeah, taped in three towns on the east and also here in Reykjavik. So it's, yeah, yeah, the first season is in Seyðisfjörður and um, Siglafjörður. And yeah. where else? Those, that's the first season is those two, uh, right? Those two at least. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm not caught up on the second season, so don't spoil it for me. Okay, um, this one's fun because, uh, yeah, this one people don't know how to pronounce either. Miva. Miva. Me is those small annoying bugs. Yeah. yeah, that are there from May until August or something. Yeah, and just it's that lake. It's, it's basically a lake named after them. The me, the bugs, lake. It's their lake, the bug lake. Yeah. I tell everyone. To I tell everyone to wear uh, like a net. Have you seen those? Yeah. I mean, they look ridiculous, but it's very practical. Uh, and, and yeah, it can be there. And uh, they, they also have their uh, their version of the Blue Lagoon. Yes. The it's, Blue Lagoon of the North. Yeah. What do you call it? Jartun, yeah. Mivat Nature Bass. That's what I call it yeah. to the lay folk, to the non Icelanders. <laughs> Okay, uh, moving right along is also, you know where we, you know the story? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your story. That's where we decided to move to Iceland. Oh, yeah, 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 that's that, yeah. Husavik. Husavik. Love it there. Mm -hmm. It's a nice town. Yeah. They're, they're quite famous for their church. It's on lots of Instagram movies. Yes, that's true. And, and it's the whale watching capital of Iceland. Yeah. There's lots of whale above there, so it's it's yeah. whale watching is mostly there and and then like who is Savik? Okay, this one always gets people too. Akureyri. Akureyri. The local people will probably pronounce it a little bit differently. The people like, in the north. Yeah, they have their own grammar. Yeah. Same as you know, people from the west and east. They have every every area of Iceland has their own like grammar, own you know style of saying things like a dialect yeah like a dialect so and, like and, yeah. and their own words for describing some things it can it can be different things different okay. words for the same thing okay i guess i didn't know that but i'm only like you know have lived in Reykjavik so i don't spend as much time in the north yeah. we're talking like the southern folk that we are yeah you identify well, as a southern folk no oh okay and then just north on trotlaskagi is siglafjörður yeah Siglufjörður. Now, what does this mean, or a fun fact? Siglufjörður, it's a fjörd. It's, uh, it's actually quite famous for um, fish. So it's, it's, a, it's a fishing town. They used to have a big herring factory there. Exactly. Which is now a museum. Yeah. Okay, but they're not fishing as much in there anymore. No, I think it's more both from Akureyri and Reykjavik, like most of Iceland is now. But okay, they, f they fished them all out. Big, bigger companies just bought them out, I think. Okay. So now it's everything is more like practical and, and stuff like that. So uh, it's just evolving. Yeah, I like it there a lot. Yeah, it's a nice town. I guess I like it everywhere. There's not a place that I don't like. <laughs> no. Blundos. Blundos. It's like, there's not a lot going on there. No. It's just like, it's the least scenic area of Iceland, I think. 
Yeah, it's in, in a way, yes, but they have a huge stand there, electricity, to make that. Okay. And actually it has the longest elevator in Iceland. What? Yeah, inside that dam. The longest elevator? Yeah, the longest elevator ride. Wow, yeah. how long is it? I don't know, it's, it's long. I actually took it, taken it down, it's long. Does it go underground? Yeah, all the way down. Wow, fascinating. I didn't know. I don't know if you can see it or, or not, but it's you know it's inside the dam. But I mean, there is a lot of water coming through there. It must be like tucked back a little bit from yeah, the road. Above, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. They used to be saying that the, the police there were extra extra good at catching everyone who drove fast because that was literally the only thing they had to do. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> I can see that. It's, a, it's like a local joke, I think. Next up in the west. On the west side, Borkarnes. 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 I skip through those R's, I just go right to the B. Borkarnes. Bork Borkarnes. City. I'm not to say Nes. Nes. Valley. No, not a valley, more like a. Peninsula. Peninsula, something like that. Okay. City on the peninsula, because yeah. it is. Yeah, it it's is. It's so cute there. Yeah. Okay. And from there, you have many ways of going. You can go east, west, north, you can go... Yeah. yeah. That's true. It's it's a Mecca. Yeah, you can go a lot of ways from there. Um, did you know that Borkenes is a location, filming location for The Secret Life of Walter Mitty? Yeah, they took the the local bakery and transformed into like a restaurant or something like that. Papa John's. Papa John's, yeah. Yes. It was weird seeing that. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And then when he f went from there, all of a sudden he was on the east side of Iceland. Yeah. Then jumped to um, Greenland or somewhere. Yeah, for, for, us, it, for us, uh, the movie makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. Because we know the locations. <laughs> okay, moving on. Stikkishjómar. Stikkishólmur. I love this town, man. Yeah, it's it's a nice it. town. It's a very nice town. Uh, there's a um, ferry from there over to Westfjords. Yeah. Um, and like uh, they have their own city, uh, town festival, it's Danish days. Really? Yeah, I think they still have it. Okay. Wow, you're full of knowledge. You got a, a lot of knowledge up here. Useless information. Most of the towns in Iceland have their town festival. Mm -hmm. It's usually linked to something. Okay. All right. Moving on. This still on the Snæfellsnes Peninsula is Grundarfjörður. Grundarfjörður. Oh, I skipped over that R too. Yeah. This is one of my favorite towns. It, it's always nice to be there. You like but, it? Yeah, I like this town. Yeah. Okay. The view there is amazing and everything. It's it's a nice town. Oh, it's so nice to hear you say that. It's it's a town that's relaxing to go into. Mm -hmm. I mean, here in Reykjavik, it's, everything is more, you know, more traffic, more everything. It's, uh, yeah. When you go there, it's just quiet. Yeah. This is true. All yeah. right, what do they have going on? Oh, many things. They have actually their own uh, town festival. I've been there a few times, competed there many, many times. In what? Strongman and stuff. Man, and you're like, you. how many competitions have you done? I have no idea. You are competing with the mountain, right? No, never competed with him. No. No. Okay. He was busy filming Game of Thrones. Yeah, probably. Uh, and not 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 last because I forgot to put the Westfjords on. We just have two. Yeah, pounds. I saw that. Okay, sorry. All right, Arnarstapi. Arnarstapi. It's rolling off of your tongue a lot easier yeah. than mine. Mm -hmm. This is like at the end of the peninsula. One of the th things close to there are, are is the stones of strength. Tupelum Sandir. This is close to there. And there are four stones, and uh, first we have Amlodi, would be translated like useless or something. I mean, the one who picks only that one up, mm -hmm. he is kind of useless. You can't use that person on no, the boat. No, no. Uh, Halvtrættingur, and uh, weakling, that's the second one, mm, you can barely use that one. Halvsterkur, half strength, that's 100 kilos, and then full strength. That's a 154 kilo stone. So if you could, you know, pick that stone up, you got full wager for the rest. Onto what? Hmm. 
Like back in the day, onto what? Uh, fishing. Fishing. Yeah. So like the boats, um, in order to like, yeah, get onto the fishing boats and all, like to hold your weight, you had to lift these stones, yeah. right? Yeah. And so they would test the men, how how heavy can you pick up the stone? Yeah, yeah. how heavy could you go? And, and also something about uh, the higher the stone you, you lifted, the higher wage you got, the lower you... Pay? Yeah, pay. Wow, so, okay. Something similar to that. You could definitely be full strength, right? I would be worthless strength. Useless. Useless strength. Nah, probably weakling. True. Yeah, we lifted the we've lifted the stones. The hard thing about these stones is that they're like so smooth. So yeah. you can't like, you know. No. It's not like a handle or something. No. It's so different than like weightlifting. Yeah, it's it's natural stones. Yeah. So it's more difficult to pick up. Next we're gonna head into the West Fjords to Patrick's Fjorder. No. Patrick's Fjorder. It's um on the west fjord, it's on the, on the lower side. It's it's like against the... I always say like this, and it's not, it's on the third finger. Patrisfjord is nice. It's uh, so many things close to there. Lautrapjar, many beautiful locations. Yeah. I really but, love it there. Yeah. It's Be careful so... driving there though. Not all the roads there are paved. True. Yes. Okay. This is one of the few towns that actually celebrates um, Fisherman's Day. One of the few? Yeah, it used to be much more. Okay. A lot more towns that celebrate that day, but they're always coming less and less. It's celebrated here in Reykjavik. It's a big festival, Festival of the Sea, uh, Grindavik, Padvesfjörður. But yeah. many of the other towns have, you know, it's kind of just died down. Oh, sad. Let's end with the best town in Iceland. Yeah, of course. Isafjörður. Isafjörður. Well, well, yeah, I was born in Isafjörður, but it was later named Isafjörður, which is just like a combination of a few towns there. Lots of mountains there. Yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful location everywhere around there. Yeah. What do you, um, isn't it like in the winter there, are a few days where the sun comes over the mountains because it's like engulfed yeah. in mountains. Yeah, we don't see the sun. You don't even see it? No. Like the sky will get light, but you don't see the sun, yeah. right? Yeah. That's crazy. And when the sun hits the kitchen window of Solgata 8, Sun Street 1, you know, the sun would shine on her kitchen window. It's sunrise day. You celebrate that. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. It's always such a pleasure hanging out with you, Jens. Thank you. You're my favorite guest. And always... Go to Isha <laughs> Go to Isha <laughs> We'll see you next week for another Iceland video. And until then, happy planning. How do you say that in Icelandic? We would never say it, something like that.